The Tabi Museum of Art began in 1970 with a group of individuals who wanted to make the arts a little bit more important in the Minot community. And it just grew from there. Um, they moved into the location that we're currently residing at um, in 1997, um, just because we were given the building, or gifted the building. And so um, due to that, it grew from there and, and it's grown over the years. Our focus here at the Tabi Museum of Art is of course to enrich lives through the visual arts. And we exhibit um, a variety of different artists' works throughout the year. Our exhibitions change every four to six weeks and they feature um, local artists, regional artists, national artists, and we've ev even featured international artists over the years as well. And so it's primarily contemporary artworks, but we are open to any media and genre. And so we're just reaching anybody in the community with the different varied exhibitions that we do. Our exhibitions feature everything from um, two-dimensional works, sculptural works, ceramics, mixed media, photography, um, you name it, and we've probably exhibited it. Our association with MACA has helped us to reach other audiences that we may not have reached in the past, and um, our association goes a, a long time, so um, that connection has, has helped us as well um, to reach other organizations and as well as artists in the community. We want to share and, ex and spread the love of art to everybody in the community and we feel that that's one of our jobs and so we try to pass that on so that MACA can also share that as well. You know, I have the best job in the whole world. I get to work with kids and share my love of art with them. I'm the education coordinator here at the Tabby Museum of Art. I coordinate all the education programs that we have here, hire staff, um, plan programs, and uh, work with kids. We have several programs. One of our uh, programs is a start in art. We work with children ages nine months to five years. The parents get to come and do projects with them. We also have art all around for older children. And one of my personal favorites is Good night art where they wear their pajamas to the museum and do an art project with us. We reach um, all the children in the Minot Public Schools at elementary levels. We have a program called Gallery on Wheels and also a program called Meet the Artist, Be the Artist. And one of the things I love about MACA is they help us promote our programs. They're very good about sharing our information and it's also important that people realize that it's all about the arts and whatever organizations can promote that, that's what we're all about. MAC has been a great supporter for us as well. One of the things that they do for us is they help promote our programs as well as their own programs. And this is very important because it is the arts and we need to get that information out there. I would highly recommend people join MACA, definitely, because MACA helps promote all the organizations and one of the things that's key for us is they maintain a calendar of what's happening. So as an organization, we get to know what dates are available, what's happening, what we can do and work together. And I think that's extremely important for the arts in our community. Well, the Tabby Museum of Art is funded through a number of different ways. And one of those ways is through our arts programming that we offer. And we offer so many different programs throughout the year for, and they're open to ages nine months to seniors. So um, if you are looking for something to do or to be engaged in the arts in some way, check us out and we'd love to hear from you. And I would like to urge everybody to support MACA and the Tabi in any way you can, from dollars to volunteer, to spreading the word about our organizations. We're also a viable part of downtown Minot and we hope to be here for a really long time. So give and give generously, please.